Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Top 5 Best Budget Mechanical Keyboard. Starting at number 5. Logitech K845. Logitech's K845 replaces our previous budget productivity pick, the K840. It costs about $10 more, but adds white backlighting to the keys, which you can configure in one of five patterns, and adjust to three levels of brightness, plus off. For a street price of $59.99, you get a full-sized mechanical layout with an aluminum top plate and your choice of red, linear, blue, clicky tactile, or brown, tactile, switches made by TTC. For $20 more, you can opt for one of the 845CH models, which use cherry switches, red or blue. The company sent us an 845 with TTC blue switches, and we found them a satisfying substitute over the Cherry MX blue switches in our DOS keyboard daily driver. The Logitech K845 also sports an aluminum top plate that both looks good and delivers a more premium feel than you might expect from a keyboard in this price range. That said, if you're used to pricier keyboards with lots of heft, the 1.72 pound weight and plastic shell don't exactly scream high quality keyboard. Still, the switches are rated to 50 million clicks, and the molded keycaps mean you don't have to worry about the labels fading, though we're not a huge fan of the chunky font. Coming at number 4. Havit KB487L. The Havit KB487L doesn't fit neatly into any other category, but it's such an interesting keyboard that we had to include it here. It's a standard TKL shape, but instead of having the usual cluster of shortcut keys along the right-hand side, it has a number pad. This leads to a have-your-cake-and-eat-it-2 design that offers the space-saving advantages of a TKL keyboard but doesn't actually consign spreadsheet lovers to using the number row. Our reviewer, who rarely uses the shortcut cluster or number pad, didn't notice the difference during everyday use, but it's almost certain to throw off anyone who's used to a more traditional layout. Havit also equipped the KB487L with durable PBT keycaps that feel nice and boast a unique black, white, and orange color scheme that allow the KB487L to stand out among the sea of monochromatically faced keyboards currently available. This doesn't look or feel like a budget mechanical keyboard. At number 3. Redragon K615 Elise. Redragon has a reputation for delivering shockingly capable and well-built devices at bargain basement prices. And the Redragon K615 Elise continues that tradition, at just $35, and sometimes much less, it's currently $15 on Amazon as I write this. The K615 is a compact wired mechanical gaming keyboard with RGB lighting, low-profile tactile blue switches, and a solid feel that's aided by a metal band that runs around the entire edge of the device. Redragon even throws in a removable USB-C cable and flip-up feet to lift the back of the keyboard up for a better typing-slash-gaming angle. Of course, there are compromises given the crazy low price and compact form factor. K615 doesn't come with software, so you'll mostly have to live with the 18 lighting presets although you can record a custom light show via a complex dance of key combos. The limitation of just 61 keys means that many common characters and functions, like the arrow keys, get relegated to secondary FN functions. But that's a limitation of the space-saving 60% form factor, not a fault of this particular keyboard. Number 2 of my list. Aki KMG14 the Aki KMG14, $58, was the only clicky budget mechanical keyboard I tested that didn't make me want to accidentally spill something on top of it. The clicks are still pronounced, sure, but they're closer to the pleasant pinging end of the spectrum than the unbearable clacking end. Pretty much everything else about the keyboard was also a welcome surprise, given its price. Aki equipped the KMG14 with RGB backlighting and full N-key rollover. It also used double-shot ABS keycaps, which is surprising given how cheap this mechanical keyboard is. Still, the KMG14 comes with a keycap puller to make it easier to swap out the keycaps with something a little snazzier, 
which was a nice touch and something I wish some other manufacturers had thought to include with their more unfortunate looking keycaps. And number 1. Cooler Master CK552. The Cooler Master CK552 is the best budget mechanical keyboard for most users. It's a full-sized gaming keyboard with RGB backlighting, an aluminum top plate, and a 5.9-foot, 1.8M, USB 2.0 cable. It comes with gate ROM switches in red, linear, blue, clicky, or brown, tactile. Our review unit came equipped with gate ROM red switches that were responsive during gaming, so much so that our review occasionally pressed keys they didn't mean to. This means it's not the best for heavy typing sessions. Choosing a different switch type might help, but the other switch options have been harder to find recently. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.